Hello YouTube and welcome to a new Unity 3D tutorial. So firstly I want to say I apologise for all the old, old, old couple of videos what's been uploaded recently. The audio has been out of sync even though my recorder and my video editing software saying it was in perfect alignment so I have no idea what was happening there. But um, I've changed recorders now so hopefully it works better. If not please say and I'll change to another one hopefully. But I really hope this works. So, last tutorial we made it so we could actually buy items now. So before I start I'm just going to move it up so we can actually see it. Because I left it in a silly place. So I'm going to change the Y to 0. So if we go and visit our cat, um, entity now. Her over there. And go Q. We can see if we click an object we can buy it. And it will add it to our inventory. There look. Perfect. But we can't sell yet, selling still buys it. So as you can see, perfect. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to improve this in a cool way. Yeah. So, what I'm first going to do is I'm going to show you a new inventory I've designed. So, if I open this here, actually, no, that's probably not a good idea. I'll just show you here. So, I've designed this shop layout here, and it has a load of boxes, but don't worry about it. But then I've also included another one here. And what it is, is if you follow my mouse, this box here will say shop, just to say you're in a shop. Oh, go away from shop. I know I shouldn't have opened it. This box here will say what the shop's name is, so female text shop. This one here will say buy, sell, so label in it for the users. These two big boxes here will have scroll bars in, which will contain all the items you can buy or what you can sell which we'll eventually get round to. We might not do the sell one today, but we might, I don't know. We've got the quantity boxes, so you can buy certain quantities with buy buttons and sell buttons. Your money, your amount of money. We have a close button and then we have a description of each item you click on. So hopefully it works. I actually generally hope it does work. So it'll be really good. So we're going to do it in um, the layout first and then as soon as we've finished it we'll switch back to the shop window. So we'll stick shop window layout on, and we'll also assign a GUI skin because we do need one. Style. There, assign a GUI skin. So now it should make it look slightly better. So what I'm going to do is go to my script here, and I'm going to change what some of them say. So instead of welcome to the female text shop, I'm going to get rid of it, and I'm just going to say female text shop. Perfect. And I'm going to duplicate this again, and I'm going to put put. Uh, here we'll just put shop and we'll get the escalation mark and now we need to rename these and add some more so instead of name label I'm going to call it shop label simple as that and the x axis I'm going to change to 200 just so it's different and this one I'm going to call shop 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 so now we've got shop and female text shop like we wanted. And give it label, you have this much gold. So I'm going to keep that how it is. In fact, I'm going to get rid of the you have and just put gold. Yeah. So you, this gold. Yeah, that'll work. So we've got a close button which we can just move down. We have our grids which is perfect but I want to instead of having three across I want one across so it goes down so you can have names next to it hopefully hopefully that'll work we'll find a way buy button and sell button they're perfect so what else do we need well we need a buy label and a sell label so we'll duplicate these two oh dear. so end of this I'll go down and we'll see where's our buy button buy button by label and we'll change it here by label, by label, by label, by label and the other one's obviously going to be sell label if you didn't guess so in here we'll type buy perfect, get rid of that one and then here we'll type sell so you can buy it, you can sell it, perfect and sell button will become sell label So paste it in here, paste, 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 paste. Perfect. So now if we think what else do we need? We need a description box, which is another label. 
I think, didn't we already do one? No, that must have been someone else. So in here we'll type uh, item desk. Just for now, we're going to make it suit it properly one day. So instead of shop label, we'll call it shop um, desk for description label. And we'll make it a slightly bit bigger, but we'll get to that when we get there. And again, we'll name it all. This is the only thing when you're creating complex windows like this, you do end up having a lot of repeating things, kind of, but it is generally the best way to do it. So I think that's everything we need. The only other, other two would be the quantities, but we'll do that another time because we do have quite a lot to do in this tutorial. So, if we play it, we're going to see it'll be a complete mess at the moment, but we do need to organize it all. So, if we go over here and press Q. Oh dear, that looks horrific. We forgot our scroll bars, that's what we forgot, but we'll do that later maybe. So, what I'm going to do is start rearranging it, hopefully. So if we just click one of these just so we can see the buy and sell buttons, we'll start moving everything around. This looks horrible. So a close button, we'll leave up there because it seems better up there. We'll start with the name label. Hopefully this will work. There we go. So we can stick that in there. Come on. There. Female text shop. Perfect. Eight and Seven. So that's in its right place. So we can close it. Let's open everything we need to finish because then we can see which ones we've done, which one we haven't. So we're not getting confused. Name label, player label. Perfect. The window can stay because we don't need to mess with that. And the name label we just did. So now it's time for the shop label which can go there. 38.5. That'll do. So we've done the shop label. What else do we have? Well, we need to mess with the grid buttons because this is going crazy. So let's increase the width. Let's put them there first so we can see it. So let's see the width needs to go become less, but the height needs to become more. There we go. I don't want it say scrolling down forever though, so we're gonna bring it down a little bit and by a little bit more. That'll do. So 44, 516. So let's put it in its correct place. So it will be there and move it down to there. Perfect. 8.15 and 86. So that one's done, but we need obviously for it to be in the scroll bar for it to work, which we'll do another later, possibly, hopefully. So we've got that. Um, player money, which is got to be moved again so move it down here and we'll move it down again and we'll place it there 100 gold it did kind of look better with you have but um, changes are made so that could be normal that could be one perfect so the only thing I'm not looking forward to is having to type all this back into the script so shop label we will put that's been done Cell button, here we go. Open this kiss code because we haven't done that yet. Breaking my rules already. So this is the button one, yep. Yeah. So drag it up and we'll place it uh, back there. It's a little tight, but we can move it across and place it there. A little bit more. Perfect. So we'll get rid of that and change this to four. Perfect. That's better. So for the buy button, it'll be on the same y axis. Hello, buy button, there. Same y axis, but it needs to be moved across to here. That'll do. So we'll just change this to 9. So buy button's done, and so is sell button. The labels will be the same, hopefully. So we can drag it across. That is nowhere near the same, but okay. Oh yeah, this has got to be up here. I remember now. Going crazy there. So this can go here. Across. Don't forget most of these buttons will be gone. If not, we'll just edit it, the ones what we don't need. So the Y axis will be the same for the labels again. 
and that'll go there. Change this to nine. Perfect. So the labels have done. See, it's looking a lot. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. It looks terrible at the moment, but um, we do need to keep working on it just to make it look that good. Maybe when we put the real window on, it will look slightly better. But the boxes need to go for now. So the close button's there. Cancel. We've got the everything we need in the right place nearly. Just the item description left. But for the item description, we do need to change the size, but we also need to change the text of it. So place that there, and we'll drag it across. Perfect. We'll put this in a mini scroll box of its own, just so it can just have an infinite text, really. The only reason we didn't do it on the mouse one is because you can't really scroll on a mouse box. Yeah. So that's all in perfect alignment, nearly. So what I'm going to do is zoom through these and put them back into the script here. So I'm just going to replace the, those variables in there with these, and then I'll join you back again. So I'll speed it up, and I'll be back in a minute. Hey, so I'm back and I've renamed all them, stuck them in. So, as I was doing it, something really, really weird happened. He's gone. The actual thing had just decided to pop up, which I'm thinking, I hope I clicked on something I shouldn't have, but I don't remember. It just popped up, and I don't know how or why. But okay, never mind, ignoring that. So, um, carrying on, I've re stuck them on. I hope you like the speed up thing. Um, yeah, so I'm going to change these but fix the grids at the same time. So, what we're going to do is just instead of renaming all these again, I'm just going to go reset. And it will reset everything back, but the sad thing is we have to apply everything again. So, have style back in there. All this should be the same. Like that. Shop window, we need, we'll put the real one on. Close icon, which is an inventory. Cross icon then. Grids, we'll just... Mm, we'll assign our input thing first. So information panel. And now, for the grids, I believe we had 12. I honestly can't remember. We'll say 12 then. So we'll start off with one and we'll assign an apple to it. So find our resources. Apple. And I believe it was the tooltip. I really should remember these things. And for number two, we'll say, not 22, good lord. 22, we'll put oak and zero. And then we'll just go 12. So there, so we've got an apple, an oak, and loads more oaks. So let's see what it looks like now with the real window. And let's also hope it doesn't like glitch. So press Q. Well, the grids didn't work because we forgot to change the size. Damn. Well, we can click do that now. So I'll speed this up again. Apologies, I should have done that quicker. But. Hey, so I'm back and I've just renamed it. It's all in the right place now. All what's left to do is to. Well, okay, there's quite a lot to do. I'm going to lie again. This might be split up into two parts because it is getting quite long now. But we're going to add a scroll bar to here and then maybe here. And then so we can begin doing it. So if we click buy, our buy buttons come up. And that'll be perfect. I might change that so they're always there, but it always selects zero so it shows you the apple. Might be a good idea. But what we're going to do is open up our inventory script. Then, Tori, GUI. Yep. 
and we're going to find the scroll bar for that. So I'm going to create a new thing for it. So we'll say we'll actually make this a bit neater. So buy everything will be in there. Sell everything will be in there. Yeah, that seems a bit easier. So in here we'll type var buy scroll bar rect equals new rect. So let's see. Zero zero. 200, 200, I don't know. That'll work. And we'll copy it and paste it in here for cell. So cell scroll bar. Perfect. We've got two things. Obviously it needs to be moved across and it needs to be changed. But we can go into our inventory GUI and find our scroll bar bit. Scroll chop grid and scroll view. So we copy that. So we must remember that scroll chop grid which is a vector 2. So we'll paste this. Hmm. It's the grids we need it, but where did we put the grids there? So it needs to be here. So we'll change this to buy grid. And we'll get rid of this bit here, we don't need this. But we'll replace it with this one. Boom. So we've got a buy grid. We need a scroll bar chop grid again, so we copy it from here. It's just easier copying it than writing it all out again. We already have it. Oh well. I don't don't know why it's called chop grid, but we'll call it by scroll bar. Yes. Where does it say again? There and there. Perfect. So now I uh, don't know why that was already there. We just need to assign it to the correct variables, and then if it works, we'll size it and then move it across for the cell button. So there, there. There and there. Yes. Test two. Hopefully, I'll, this video will stop at 20 minutes. Finland Tech Shop already has a definition for buy scroll bar. Well, I should hope so. Oh. In fact, we'll change this to buy current scroll because that is where you are in the vector 2 scroll area so that one and that one silly mistake, try again so we'll go up to a and we'll do the buy scroll bar bit Everything's gone, but well, yeah, we do need to increase the size and everything. So let's try again. So where are you? By scroll bar. Hello. So it's, I can't see it anywhere. Hmm. Let's add a variable for it for this one here again. So we'll put by scroll bar other because it's got another side to it. We'll say this is zero, and I believe this is for twenty down there, because this is a new one here, so we can just put it in here. So now we can edit both variables in order to make it show. Have we got everything we need? Yes. So we're going to see here. Press Q. So we've got everything there. Now if we find by scroll bar other and we set the size to its inside, it should show. Okay, for some strange reason this isn't working. It's probably one of the simplest reasons, but we just can't see it. So I'm gonna end the video here. In part two we'll fix the scroll bars, the item description and maybe the cell bars. I'll also figure out why the scroll bars isn't working while we wait. So thank you for watching and see you next time.